So, another chat with Shiloh. Yeah, Sam said you were going to see him. Yeah. We had a point of reaching out. I want to know why. I mean, who is this guy? Shiloh or Hank Archer? Sam's ex-son-in-law. What you want with her? Anyway, besides Kim, he's the only person I know who remembers parts of my past that I don't. So I want to know what type of game he's playing. I've been fishing for more information. Next thing I know, I'm doing all the talking. Turns out that Shiloh, he's very interested in what happened in Afghanistan. Even though he knows that you don't remember. Oh, yeah, I went through that whole song and dance about how my memories were taken from me, transplanted with my long-lost twins. How do you respond to that? He was caring. He was concerned. He was too anxious. The only real response I got from him was when I told him I wasn't having the procedure reversed. And then he relaxed. It seems weird he always claims how close you guys were. Yeah. I mean, why wouldn't you be disappointed? I wonder that, too. I mean, for all that talk, how buddy-buddy we were and how I saved his life, he certainly seemed relieved that I wasn't going to remember anything. Were you able to dig up anything else on Shiloh? Yeah, he founded a Donna Day house in Beecher's Corners with uh, this woman. She calls herself Harmony, but her real name is Lorraine Miller. In fact, she was Shiloh's right hand until, until he moved to Port Charles. Okay. Then what happened? Well, she, uh, she stayed in Beecher's Corners. I don't know, man. She seems like she's hung up on the guy. She seemed a little upset that he moved on without her. Or maybe to the city where Sam lives, the woman who fleeced his father. Exactly. And we got Spinelli digging, so if there's anything out there, he's going to find it. I want to help, so if I uh, find out anything else about Shiloh, I'll let you know. All right.